Uh, hello everyone, this is Hrithik. Uh, in this video, I'd like to talk about my 3D model uh, city, future city. It was made in Blender 2.901 and it's called Sol, which means sun in Spanish. So first I would like to talk about the comparison, like uh, usually I measure in blocks or cubes. So we'll just measure it, how much one building is. So one cube, uh, I'll just measure it right here using the measure tool. Uh, right there so one cube is two meters and I know that this building is 50 uh, 12.5 blocks so uh, if we do the math 12.5 uh, into 2 that's 25 meters so this building is 25 meters so yeah that's just the basic idea of how big this is because you can't just see it from here it's not a, it's just a 3d model so yeah so uh, uh, also I would like to point out like how these buildings are built, like the architecture. You can see some domes, some con complex shapes, toruses, bowls, pudding shaped objects, cylinders. And yeah, there's uh, like a vast variety of different objects that are used for this. And we can also see the pavements, which is having some moss and some stone. And uh, I'll just give you an idea, like a hint. This does, uh, does not have any tarmac, no tar, no roads, no nothing. So I'll talk about that later as well. And we, we can also see these like unique street lights. They're in arc shape, they're golden. And they're powered by LED as well. And uh, we, which once again, I'll talk about later. And one thing I like what I did about this is the abundance of trees. Like I try to sell the eco-friendly idea a lot here. You can see these neat arrangements of trees and bushes. Uh, so uh, le let's find out how this town is powered. I, I had some like concept earlier. So why these buildings are like arranged like this, like in these mirror type objects is because they converge light inside to a heat engine. And that basically produces the primary energy for this entire city. Uh, yeah, so uh, I just kept even like the glass to save electricity. Like there's no interior lights, just the sunlight. So yeah, that that I also got inspired by like many people are switching to sunlight. So I also got an idea from that inspiration. And uh, now I'd like to talk about these blimp like drones. Uh, and there are some turbines on the side like jets. And uh, one thing that you can't actually see here, but I thought of like there are VTOL like system on these. So they have tiny little jets for uh, uh, like marginal uh, control because this is a very closely knit city. So we don't want to hit anything here. Uh, these are powered by biogas, second generation biogas, which just means organic waste, which is also generated from these factory like buildings. You can see like a neat detail I kept as a fan. So I like to think of those as biogas generators and that's where these blimps get refueled, right there. And these drones are used for transport of people and deliveries. So basically it can just be used as general transport. And uh, this, this is also another thing, like there's only air transport in Seoul and that's why there's no tarmac or anything like that in the bottom, no roads, only walking. Uh, and now let's go back to the far back of this island and we have like this giant anomalous rock, anomalously big rock with some stone and style architecture, ancient architecture beside it. This rock is basically called Gnase. It's like a deity worshipped in this city, like a presiding deity. And we can see on top of that there's like a grass patch and there's some small blimps landed like on top of them. So uh, if you get the if you if you didn't notice yet, like this is just like a hub or airport for Seoul, where all the blimps like they park at the end of the day. And yeah, so yeah, that's basically it about this city. There's also one more thing, uh, like a small design here. It's called uh, you may have noticed it. It's like a Fibonacci spiral. This actually took me the most time to do. Actually, it's really difficult. I used bevel curves and I did 1 to 55 ratio, uh, but I, I think it's worth it. It looks really good in my opinion. And uh, one more reason like why these designs are there, 
like first first of all is aesthetically pleasing and also like it's a tribute to math because math will be very important in the future and yeah I, I wouldn't like to let go of math in the future so uh, that's basically it about my city model um, it took me a while to make but I think it's worth it and yeah I hope you liked it thank you